Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 1st to the 7th of February 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have? Your card is literally turned over. We have the Seven of Wands. Okay. Message for our lovely Sagittarians, please. Angels, spirits, guides, message for Sagittarius. Thank you. Okay. Literally flipping over your cards. We have finding sanctuary, opening your spiritual, opening to your spiritual source, finding sanctuary. Okay. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Sagittarius. Interesting, we have if you believe. And you see that angel, she holds a symbol which is very much like Metatron, the symbol of creation, her Archangel Metatron. So if you believe you can, you will. You know, there's definitely this energy here of manifesting, creating something, okay? So I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is your current challenge or issue. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the outcome. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you as always. Okay, your card has flipped over as soon as I ended that sentence. We have the three of pentacles. The lovers. Just straighten that up. Okay. Queen of Wands, card of Aries. Well, hopefully that's straight. Anyway, uh, let's pull some clarifiers and go deeper into the message for Sagittarius, please message for Sagittarius thank you what do we have angel spirits guides for our lovely Sagittarians first the 7th of February 2021 thank you can we clarify the cards on the table thank you okay hanged man the lovers is Clarified by the Strength card, card of Leo, and we have the World. Uh, followed by the Hierophant, Sagittarius, okay. Okay, this, I mean, it definitely feels like you've been through some kind of challenge here because we have the, the Seven of Wands, which is a card of challenge, but it's a card of even though you feel overwhelmed and it definitely feels like you've been overwhelmed or felt overwhelmed in a situation here, you know, this is a card of stay in your power, keep going, persevere, stay determined keep taking action don't let and I'm, I'm getting this energy of don't let that which opposes you win you know because this is also a card of um it can be a card of overcoming uh, because this person is on higher ground than that which is opposes them even though they might not realize it because it feels like six against one you know it feels like you know the odds are stacked against you so again this feeling of of being overwhelmed in a situation or really challenged up against it but there's a message of persevere keep going you will overcome that which opposes you yeah if you believe if you believe you can really manifest something then you will and that is the message here now for some of you this is to do with sanctuary and it definitely feels i've got the feeling of home here what home means to you 
And we had this, didn't we? I'm sure we've had this with you before, Sagittarius. I can't remember if it was your sign about, you know, being protected by family, the home. You know, we've had that in the last couple of weeks. I think it's with your sign. Um, and there's a message of open to your spiritual source. Find your core. Find your um, area where you know, of solace within you. But this can also be, for me as a reader, it feels like you're being challenged and it definitely feels in this situation, you're just, it feels you're wanting to manifest, it feels like a new home. But there's challenges that go with that. And I'm getting that energy here, Sagittarius, because the Three of Pentacles, it, it can be to do with moving into a new home, doing up a new home. Um, you know, it can be people supporting you, helping you. I mean, that could be following on from a message that I had. They don't always follow on the messages week on week or even month on month or even week to month. You know, that, you know the messages are what they are. You know, they are what is meant to, to, to resonate with people for the week. So, but in this case, it feels like you're, you're waiting on moving home or you're waiting to move in somewhere and it's because you've been challenged. You're going through a challenging time and it feels, it feels it's to do with love, romance, relationships. The challenge is based in terms of facing some kind of adversity or challenge that you've had to be strong for, that you've needed courage and power for to overcome challenges in terms of love, romance, relationships. I'm definitely getting that energy. The lovers can also be a choice. Um, can sometimes represent third party situations as well, Sagittarius. Um, if you're choosing between two people or someone's been choosing between you or you found out about that, you know, the, that's been the, the challenge here. So it might well be, I mean, take it as you will. It's not limited to that, but it means that it can sometimes mean that there is some kind of decision or choice to make in terms of love, uh, matters of the heart. The outcome, I mean, it feels very beautiful and it feels very empowerment. There is final closure, final closure. Um, something is finally ending here. So that's where you're being told. The cards are saying it will end and you will step through victoriously. I mean, this is a victory card. This is a card of winning as well. And again, I was getting, I was getting, I don't know if winning means something to you, but winning, winning through, winning in a, you know, whatever it means to you, that's definitely what I'm getting. Um, but the, the world card is a card of the effort, the tests that you've undergone, both good and bad, throughout the past cycle, past journey, you know, is, is, is finally you have learnt lessons, you have grown as an individual, you know, by these tests and challenges, you've got higher experience, uh, this is all about evolution and being ready to step through to a new phase of your life. Um, and again, this Queen of Wands, I feel this is you. I mean, generally it's Aries for me as a reader, but it feels like this is you. Um, and the Queen of Wands is somebody who is in her power. So something is definitely ending. There's a, a finality to a situation and it feels to do with a relationship. A relationship, a marriage, a committed relationship here. It feels it's coming to a close here, Sagittarius, but you are ready. You are feeling ready to step through to a new phase of your life or the outcome is that you will um, and be in your power. You know, the Queen of Wands is somebody who is in her power, makes, you know, very calculated decisions, choices based on her intuition. She understands how to bring abundance and growth and follow her passions, you know. So, this ending, it feels like it's an empowering ending, finally reconnecting you to who you are, putting you back in your element, having gone through some challenge. I mean, we have fire challenge and then we have somebody being in their power, you know, in terms of fire. So reconnecting you back to your element, who you are, 
being in your power once more. Now, the Hierophant, it can be to do with committed relationships, marriage, and so on. So it feels for some of you that you've gone through some challenges in a relationship here. Something is finally ending, finally over. And it's definitely something that is putting you back in control, back in your element, ready to face, thinking, right, I'm ready to move to the next phase of my life. And again, this, this hanged man, is, I'm feeling that you're just waiting for certain things to play out here. You want to move into, it feels like you want to move into a new home. And it can be a card of manifesting, it can be a card of manifesting, and it can be a teamwork energy, so it could well be. If there's a choice between, if you're choosing between two people, it could be setting up home with somebody new and waiting for something to play out and end so that you can set up home with somebody new or on your own. It is a card of manifesting something new. But with this hangman energy, it feels like you're just waiting for things to finish. You know, you're waiting for things to just fall into place here so that you can just draw a line under it and move on. And the cards are saying that's exactly what will happen. You will. You know, if you're losing faith that you will be able to, to, to move on from this, the message is you will most definitely, you know, be able to manifest a new reality for yourself if you believe. And, you know, whatever challenges you, there's definitely this energy of keep going because whether you know it or not, you have all the power that you need, the courage, the conviction, the resoluteness to overcome this. So, and it definitely feels for some of you, it feels to do with a home, moving into a new home. I'm waiting for that to happen because things haven't played out quite, but they will. So I'm going to pull a final card, Sagittarius. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, my favourite card in the fairy deck is this one, Transformation. Yeah, and remember we have that with If You Believe. Um, so really stay strong in that core because we have this fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come. Yeah, and the best is yet to come, you know. New home, new start manifesting a new life it feels very beautiful so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful week for you sagittarius and i'll see you next time thank you